What's happening, guys? I've been waiting years to do this. I'm finally at a cabin that I love and enjoy, and I go trout fishing out of. But this is the joys of I've got my headlamp. I'm going kind of fishing into the dark. I'm gonna bring my my stuff anyways. Cabin's a mess. You've been here for like three or four days with kids and family. I'm gonna grab a new water because I can. And we're staying on First Lake. Copper stay. Do you want copper or no? No. Okay, and the wife and kiddo are over there picking blueberries. I'll, I'll give you guys a cameo appearance of Remy and my wife, Kelsey. They're gonna approach the cabin. So this is the first time I've ever stayed at a place where I can dock my boat and just don't have to like trailer it every two seconds. <gasps> As you have a mouthful of blueberries, yeah. look at, that's a lot of blueberries. I know, right? Like a lot of blueberries. <laughs> yeah. I am talking to my camera. That is a lot of blueberries. They're gonna pick blueberries and daddy's gonna go out in the B-O-A-T. And my son gets super excited when I go out in the B-O-A-T. So we have to spell stuff. So I'm gonna go load up the boat. And this lake is down like literally four and a half feet. Like I said, I'm staying at Partridge Cabin, so they're not paying me to, to drop, drop their name, but the place is beautiful, obviously. The lake's beautiful. And we got into some lake trout last night, um, right around this time. So we're gonna head back over there, same numbers. We had a bunch of issues trying to get on the same numbers last time for some reason, so it might take me a while. So let's go get the minnows. And we trap them right off of this jetty here. Me and a bunch of other guys and the uh, the owner of the company. So the best way to catch a lake trout here is shiners. And so we have a whole thing of shiners right now. I pulled them up earlier. That's what I'm talking about, some jumbos. Look at those guys. I mean, I'm not gonna be putting the trap back in. And there is smelt in this lake. Well, I have seen, you guys have seen me fish here before, for cusk mainly, and I've always wanted to do this. I'm always super jealous of like uncut angling and the other top YouTubers up in Canada that they get to stay at these nice fancy resorts. Uncut angling and JC Men's and Clayton Chick Outdoors. They just get to step in their boat and take off basically that's what I'm doing now like I said the water is super shallow here but we've had like complete calm weather the whole time we have had rain and a bunch but no no crazy weather really and I'm running a uh, 12 pound fluoro and like 50 pound braid, something like that. Put him up here, away from the motor. Put it in the rod holder and then watch it like a hawk. And then, since we're allowed two lines here in New Hampshire, I'm gonna put out another line. This one's got eight pound test on it. These are monsters. I'm not gonna put this guy all the way down because there is salmon and stuff in here. Yeah, and I had lake trout that, you know, came up from the, from the deep. Oh, lake trout coming down to it right now. Lake trout's all over it. Lake trout coming up to it. Now I got a little, probably 18 inch or keeper size for up here. Yesterday on the 12 pound, I don't know if these fish are line shy or not. Oh, that was definitely a bite. Oh, he ate it and then spit it out. 
Alright, let's get this thing set up. Might have just lost my uh, my sucker. Multiple lake trout. Multiple lake trout. Golly! Freaking lake trout everywhere, guys. Oh, he was in its mouth. Might have to put a smaller hook on as well. I don't know. I'm currently feeding these freaking lake trout, though. Multiple lake trout. Come on. Freaking teeth wrapped around that. Or I snagged them, but it doesn't feel like you snag. Remember, I got eight pound test on this, guys. Oh, there he is. Not very big. A few inches. Thanks for stealing my stuff for the last hour and a half, you pecker. All right. Nice little lake trout. There it goes. Whew, finally. Got multiple fish down there right now, so I'm gonna not even retie that. I'm just gonna drop this other one down there. Get a nice meaty hook on him. Sink his butt to the bottom. Go down, 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 down. Got him. I mean, it's such a weird butt. They don't even like really bite it. They just kind of latch onto it. This has got eight pound test on it, so I'm actually gonna baby this one a little bit. Feeling freaking out. And another one. On the purple ugly stick. Let's see how big this one is. Could be a little bit bigger. Just shy of 18 inches, guys. Let's see if we can go here back in the water. Sure. Yeah, trick my uncle taught me about ice fishing. He says if you want a fish to not be crazy, trim a little bit of his fins off. And then he can't be so powerful. I have no idea where any of my stuff is at all. in his mouth. Oh, I just got robbed. I felt it. You little buggers. Dueling rods over here, guys. You like that once you go in the rod holder with a little bit tighter drag. are pissing me off. There's lake trout everywhere on the screen, guys. This is insane.
You've got to be kidding me, man. This is insane. I've never had lake trout be this aggressive. They would probably, probably bite a jig if I was to put a jig down there now. I think the problem is, is I'm not letting them eat it long enough. Like that one. I'll let him eat it for a substantial period of time. Yes. Feels like a more decent one, actually. Don't think he realized he sucked, but now he does. Now he does. So that's my problem. I'm gonna let them eat it for a two, three count, which is unfortunate because Slice. There's so many lake trout down there, guys. This is insane. Can you guys see that? And I have one shiner left. I knew that was going to happen. Right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, he's over 18. He's 18 and a half, but super skinny. Ah. And a couple of mistakes I've learned is not putting enough bite onto the onto the hook, into the meat of the fish. I'm just gonna trim that tail like that. Throw him overboard. Something's shooting up to it right now. Actually, you know what? Let's check to make sure there's shiner still on there. Did you eat it? There he is. Just gotta let him eat it for a second. Oh, he popped up. Uh, and stop oh. Alright, let's see if these fish are active enough to eat some uh, non-meat. I mean, I wouldn't want to. It's like eating tofu compared to steak, man. I got like seven lake trout chasing this thing. This is insane, guys. This is... I think that's too bright for you guys. Oh. And just to let you guys know, I like never live bait fish like ever so setting the hook right away is my my own personal mistake obviously i'm like not letting the the lake trout eat the bait a little bit more is something i'm just not used to like at all so I probably could have caught like 15 lake trout if I didn't lose half my bait, like right away. So these are glow in the dark jigs. So I'm gonna hit them with the flashlight real quick. And I'm gonna have to run back here in a little bit. It's getting really dark. <laughs> lake trout all over the place. Come on! It's all over that. 
Not fair. Got him. They're just light biting tonight. On a little tiny white crappy fluke, guys. Problem with these little tiny hooks is it's definitely trouble keeping them pinned. Because it's just a, such a small bite on that hook. This is not a very big one. Jigging for lake trout, guys. Oh, he's dark. Wicked dark. I mean, obviously, I'd like to catch some uh, some bigger ones than these, but these are super fun. 17. There it goes. Come on, chase it. You guys don't want to chase today. Do ya? Let's try a little bit of something, something on this little tiny jig. I know they want it. There we go. They hit it on the fall on that one. I'm not sure if this one knows he's hooked. Pissed off now. Stay out of the motor, please. Oh, my net is up front. Delightful. That's a bigger one. Might be a little bit bigger one. And she goes. Just covered in lake trout slime today, guys. This is amazing. All right, one more, one more, one more. Got another one. Jesus, this is awesome. Yeah, this might be a little bit bigger one. Might be the biggest one of the day. It's definitely the fattest. Oh, no, still like 18. There it goes. And I think that chartreuse spike and stuff just made a difference. Made it so it was a little bit better smelling than just straight plastic. Still pretty light out actually. I got, still got lake trout coming up to my uh, my big jig here. They don't seem to want anything to do with that, but. Got it. Not even feeling the bite, I'm just kind of going by. Uh... That was bad. Not even feeling the bite, I'm just kind of going by like he's there and he's chasing it. I'm just gonna set the hook because He's vertical, I'm vertical. That means the hook is straight up and down. It's just like getting a purchase on that fish is hard. I've lost more fish than I can count. This is crazy. All right, time to reel up, guys. Time to go home. Oh, there goes the fish, of course. I could literally be here all night, but I don't have all night. So, you guys didn't know I was on spot lock the whole time with the Minkoto Tarova, uh, the Riptide series, because I striped for fish, 